Hello everyone and welcome <clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Nadir and um, today I would like to showcase the new tool head and uh, let's see the tool head okay so this is the new tool head let me take okay this is how it looks Uh, a lot of uh, you guys from the community <coughs> has suggested the name for this tool head that it looks a little bit from the movie Alien with the Xenob form and um, leave down in the comments if you, if you like the name Xenoburner Xenoburner Okay, so let me remove the dock for the clicky to be okay. And let me remove also the clicky from here. Perfect. Okay, as you can see, uh, in front we have the big Gnome display. Um, we chose this uh, display because uh, you can see very easy uh, the status of your uh, 3D printer. The new version it is also touchscreen and you can uh, adjust on the fly <coughs> some uh, small things. Okay, this is the tool head. We designed it in mind with uh, the Galileo 2 extruder. Um, I have here some uh, some notes because uh, why not? There are a lot to cover and uh, it will be more easy if I will um, check uh, from time to time the um, notes that I have here uh, first of all I would like to thank all of you that uh, suggested some things to uh, add or remove on this tool head also I would like to thank to Jared from the uh, Voron design for the Galileo 2 um, extruder because this tool head it based uh, on the um, uh, Galileo 2 uh, extruder here in front we have uh, 30 by 10 uh, fan for the um, hot end uh, for the part cooling we have two uh, um, blower fans 40 10 uh, we are using on our uh, machines here, we are using the um, 12,000 RPM from uh, G GDS design, GDS time. And we are very um, uh, pleased with the performance that we achieved. Also in two of our printers we have the 9,500 RPM ones. Okay, let me remove the front cover. This is how it looks um, without the front cover. The front cover it is uh, held in place with these four magnets on the uh, front and four magnets, two on this side and two on this side because um, the um, front cover of this tool head 
it is uh, quite heavy and uh, it has also embedded the two part cooling fans and uh, I would like to don't have any problems with the um, um, <coughs> vibrations from the uh, fans so like this we are sure that we will not have any problem here in the middle we have uh, the Gnome display and um, as uh, let me hide this as uh, hot ends we made uh, this design based on the um, V6 uh, heatsink plus the T Volcano because the T Volcano it has the two um, screws to um, secure uh, the um, heat block into the heatsink and this it will um, allow for better uh, grip and uh, to don't bend the um, um, heat break because uh, at these speeds that we are printing now uh, without uh, the extra support for the heat break uh, from time to time uh, we saw that uh, the heat break uh, gets bent so with this uh, setup that it is a very cheap affordable and powerful um, setup we managed to achieve a flow a little bit more than 50 but I will say 45 because uh, the f from filament to filament it can vary but uh, I can assure you that you can go more than 45 cube uh, millimeters cube per second flow so because we have uh, the volcano heat block we have uh, the volcano nozzle CHT volcano nozzle to achieve this and uh, because uh, it was a big um, request on the community for uh, other hot ends until now we managed to um, use the uh, to integrate the bamboo lab hot end and this is the bamboo lab hot end here and also the new hot end from uh, Sovol because uh, we saw a lot of uh, requests to this hot end also uh, in the new Sovol SVO8 uh, you have already this hot end and uh, you have the orbiter you have a lot of parts that uh, uh, you can utilize to build this uh, awesome hot end okay let's take this aside let's discuss more about uh, this uh, uh, hot end okay because we just uh, said that <coughs> you can utilize a lot of parts from the Sovol SVO8 here at the back sorry don't tell me that you cracked now we may have some little problems let's see i think i pressed on something and i don't know what ah yes i know what okay so uh, here at the back uh, here at the back we have uh, the tool board the can the can board that it came uh, with the SVO8 the, um, so if you are if you want to put this on your uh, SVO8 3D printer you can use the stock uh, tool head if you don't have this tool head of, or if you don't want to use this tool head um, this uh, here on the side like the guys from Voron they are using this is the tool head designed for the stealth burner 
and this is the big three tech ebb uh, sb uh, 2040 or the 2209 this uh, tool head so you can use uh, or this tool head or the other uh, it's uh, how you how you like or what you have uh, close to you and we have here this strain relief the that is coming from behind at 90 degrees here we have uh, uh, some uh, place for the zip ties for the cables here at the back one here and one here we have uh, two round pcbs led pcbs uh, that there are rgb wrgb to light up the nozzle and here is the clicky support we have integrated also for the guys with the uh, sv8 the um, end stop for the x carriage uh, this tool head it's uh, ready to go it's bolt on on any voron uh, 2.4 or voron trident it has the same uh, belt pa path so you can uh, install it on every uh, any 3d printer that uh, it has uh, the voron gantry okay let me remove the cover and let me remove also the display uh, please if you have any uh, any questions leave them down in the comments and uh, i will try to answer all your all all, all your questions <laughs> and here it is the awesome design made by the jared from uh, voron design and uh, is not the only one that he contribute on this 3d on this galileo 2 design and we adapt it uh, here so it uses all the parts from the orbiter and also it has uh, this uh, 3d printed parts that is that you can 3d print yours to be less uh, heavy we will start now uh, because we finished with the design we will start uh, 3d printing and uh, see how it's going and we'll test this uh, tool head so if you want to be part of the beta tester uh, leave me a comment and we will keep in touch uh, i can uh, give you the uh, files to can 3d print and to test them and uh, after we will uh, finish with the beta testing we will release for the uh, public thank you and uh, hope uh, you like uh, the new tool head let me show it again okay this is the new the new tool head hope you like it and uh, leave in the comment if you have uh, new suggestions and also um, tell us what it is uh, your uh, opinion regarding the name the xeno burner thank you all and see you soon